Welcome back to part 30-30. I'm really excited for this part because we have a lot of stuff to do uh, before, not a lot, but we are going, this part is going to be really awesome. Uh, I will be going shopping, so I hope you don't mind. Buy two of those, uh, two more of those for my party members, and that's about it. Now I'm going to check my equipment right before we do anything. Now, I don't know if I should, because I was thinking I should just, you know, uh, just go and do stuff, but I mean, nah, I'm just going to do stuff. I'm also going to equip the lightning stuff, which I'm really glad I got. Okay, I think we're almost done here. Put that on. And put on the needle fork. Now with the forks, the uh, ability that they learn, it's always the same. So you know, never worry about if you're going to uh, learn the right ability with Queena for her weapon. I'm going to put on Insomniac. Okay, I'm going to also make sure I have it. Whip, that is right. I'll take these off. I'm going to put on fleet. No. Put the jelly on. I have no idea why. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't like the whole thing about me is I just don't really like, uh, you know, having unused abilities, you know? Anyways, I think we're done here. Oh, wait. I have to make sure that I do this. Okay. What you want to do is you want to buy this from Stiltskin. I have actually missed this before. Uh, what will happen is you'll buy something from him for 333 and then later 444 and so on and so forth. And then she will uh, continue. And by the way, Stiltskin is cool. Anyways, here we are at the palace. It doesn't look good. Let's uh, leave her alone. Because this is how you get the story to continue. Let's, uh... Well, it looks like, uh, Queena and Vivi aren't really good at jumping, so we're just gonna head on. I always had an idea for an ATE, which would have been like, and what about everybody else? You know, maybe something along that title. And it shows what happens to Queena and Vivi and how they can get into the palace. So there's uh, Queen Bran and Beatrix. Oh my goodness, Beatrix. She's freaking awesome. That's Beatrix. Frey's gonna go into a slight flashback. Beatrix? Yes, Beatrix. I hear there are many fierce warriors out in the world, some more powerful than even I. Beatrix of Alexandria in particular. They say her swordsmanship is the best in the land. Sir Freightly, do you still insist on going on your journey? Yes, please understand, Freya. Right now, Remesia is at peace, while other nations are slowly but surely gaining power. I don't know if my spear alone is enough to protect Remesia, which is precisely why I must go out into the world. Sir Freightly, I don't think I can live on my own, not without you. Freely Freya, you're going to be fine. Trust your strength and have faith in your destiny. Once I complete my journey around the world, I will return to Venusia. Then promise me one more time that you will return. I promise. Greatly. You never came back. You left me with nothing except the rumors of your death. I can't believe it. I still won't believe it. Never. Not until I witness proof of your death with my own eyes. And I will travel across the world forever if I must. So Frey's having a slight moment, but don't worry, it's already over. Now, I really hope this does not happen. My, 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 my computer might lag through this a little bit. I'm really sorry for that. And we have a mystery stranger uh, behind door number one. Uh, now, if my computer does lag through this, I've recorded this multiple times. I don't care about the lag, okay? And if you post spoilers below about who this mystery man is... Uh, his name is Kuja, and the Black Mages are him, are his. Uh, but if you post below what 
uh, who he is and what happens later with him later in the game, I will get slightly angry because you know what? I don't want spoilers. Beatrix, what's taking so long? I don't know, Your Majesty. I've ordered Zorn and Thorn to search the perimeter, but there's been no been no work so far. I will join them and leave the search right away. You're wasting your time. What? Rats often look for new homes when they sense an earthquake. They probably moved to the sandy tree house by now. So you see, it's too late. The king has already turned tail and fled. Sandy tree house? Surely you don't meet Clara. It'll be quite difficult if they escape to Clara. Clara. Unless we can get through the sand that sandstorm, it will be impossible to attack them. Sneaky little rats. Kujo, what do you think? Surely with your powers, there must be something you can do. Of course, Your Majesty. I will present you a marvelous display of my power. I'm certain that you'll be the most pleased. I was wondering if you would gather your troops near Clara. I'm certain those filthy rats will retaliate in full force, and my black mages may not be enough. Sounds like we got trouble. That sinister man, who is he? Beats me. I've never seen him before. Well, it sounds like they're going to Clara. I always wondered why people call it the City of Delusion. I don't know either. Clara has remained in isolation for a hundred years. My people escaped to, to there. They, they'll be safe, at least for a while. What's that this place like? The people of Clara are originally from Bermisia. Long ago, they severed ties with Bermisia over trivial conflict. Now the kingdom is at peace, shielded by a large sandstorm. Oh no, what is that idiot doing? Oh god, he's going against Beatrix? That's like... That's like a deer going up against the freaking king of the forest. Which is the, which is a lion. The Beatrix? I commend your courage, but I will show you no mercy. And of course we have to save the day. But you know what's really awesome? We get to fight Beatrix. This is going to be an awesome battle. I am so excited for it. I've never been so humiliated in my life. I once killed a hundred knights single-handedly. To me, you two are nothing more than insects. Now for this battle, you can obviously not win because you're going against Beatrix, if you did not know that oh well. It is like the battle when you go against- when you are playing Lynx and Chrono Corner Cross and you're going against your own team members. However, this time we haven't switched into a little cat. Now what you want to do is you want to steal from her. With Vivi and, uh, Kleena, have them stay on the side because what they're going to do is they are going to help with healing. Uh, usually I would use, um, usually I would use, I might use Vivi. One sec, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, got a little interrupted. Okay, so I will be using, uh, Vivi magic. Hopefully it doesn't make my game lag. For Queena, I'm going to save her on the side because the thing about, uh, Beatrix is when she does, I'll, I'll tell you in a moment. Oh, okay, never mind. She decided to kill me instantly. Okay, the thing about Beatrix is that she has these special attacks, which are her own skills. What you want to do is you want to make sure that uh, you have somebody to bring people back to life because she can instantly kill them. Like so. Um, if you can steal stuff from her, that's really awesome, but it is really hard to do it. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna try and win through this. You can actually lose through this. Oh crap. Uh, you can actually lose through this if all your team members die, but at the end, you're gonna lose anyways. Just, yeah. Okay. Now, it'd be really awesome because, like, Freya, if she jumps at the right moment, she would never get attacked at the end. And what's really awesome is if Vivi gets attacked with Thunder Slash, uh, then. Um, he actually... Do I have anything to do? Ooh, yeah. Oh, let's finish that day. Okay, I guess we're not gonna vanish that day. I'm still gonna blow you up. Okay, there. We vanished her. Okay. I'm only using Vanish to protect myself during this time. Now, if I remember, there's something about Vanish, it, like, will actually... Uh, the thing about Vanish is it will stop lasting if you use magic against it. Yeah, so don't try healing. Just, like, bring your team members back to life. 
Oh. And wait until Vivi shows up. This battle really sucks because everybody dies. Like, everybody dies every few seconds because of attacks. It is a timed battle, um, you know, so... There we go. Sadly, I wasn't able to steal everything, but at the end, she's gonna say, you know, match me, and bring everybody down to one health. I remember once, I was fighting Beatrix, and she used to stalk on me and brought me down to one, and then my trance started, and I was like, oh, no way, that sucks. Anyways, we got our ass kicked kicked by Beatrix. What's gonna happen now? Oh, they're gonna go attack Clara and we are screwed because we're gonna die in three seconds. Now what do we have here? Another filthy rat and hmm, this boy could be become a problem. Oh, he's talking about Vivi, isn't he? One of the coolest thing scenes about to happen. And you know what this means? This means we are done disc one. That is what I've been holding on to since we began this game. We're done disc one. It's freaking awesome. Uh, I will be back. Uh, next part is going to be called uh, part 31, the start of disc two. See you all later.